Hello. We are on the way to Lazy Collectors Fest in Richmond. And we're going to get hopefully lots of Pokemon cards. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we spent a lot of money. Woo! Money! Okay, so when we first walked into the show, we looked around the space. It actually wasn't as big as we thought it would be and it definitely wasn't as big as the last card show that we went to but there were still a lot of vendors there with a lot of binders singles on display graded slabs sealed merchandise and all the good stuff there was a good variety between more vintage cards or older gen cards and the newer generation cards as well. I was just pointing out a couple of my favorites. The Melting Galarian Gallery. There was this booth that we saw at the previous card show that had a lot of different merchandise at their table. And they had a big array of binders full of cards. We were looking at the Japanese alternate arts and the trainer galleries. Even though I don't collect Japanese, it's always nice to see the artwork. I especially like seeing all the Japanese promos because there tends to be a lot more Japanese promos that they don't reprint, remake in English. Like the Detective Pikachu promo as well as the Unigaba promo cards. Personally, I was looking for more cards for my Celebi collection, as well as any cool trainer galleries or any affordable alternate art cards. And I'm specifically looking for a few of the Radiant Collection cards from Generations, as well as Legendary Treasures. <laughs> so yeah, I have a neat little wish list that I have in mind. But it's always nice to see cards in person that I haven't seen before, like this cute little snow runt. And I just love browsing and looking at cards. This booth had a variety of sealed products, including single booster packs in both Japanese and English. And I couldn't help admire this super cute Sakura Pikachu. <laughs> I was looking over here where they had a lot of Braided cards as well as this cool evolution set with Sylveon, Umbreon, and Espeon. Lots more of sealed products, a lot of Japanese booster boxes, and big collection sets. And I was thinking of getting this really cute Pikachu promo with Sylveon and Chespin but I ended up forgetting about it at the end of the day. Um, we saw all these anime figurines at this one vendor and they did have a few Pokemon cards on the side as well, like this cool Pokemon promo from Taiwan that was still sealed. It's always nice to see what other collectibles people have at their booths because I am also a fan of anime as well and we were looking at these cool DIY kits that you could paint and display in your room and these cool little bag of rupees and these really cute poncho pikachus and little straw hats how awesome as well as some marvel and games and all these various pins. And there was a whole booth dedicated to Sanrio, which um, if you guys didn't know, I am a huge Sanrio girly and I have so many My Melody products. It's kind of crazy. We even saw comic books and various figurines. Whoa, look at all these tens across the board. Even some One Piece as well and I was admiring that Sylveon and Eevee card that I really, really want. All the waifus. This booth had so many good cards, but I couldn't find any that were super clean 
from this specific card set I was looking for, but they had a really, really great selection. Some GX cards over here. And of course the Celebi from Fusion Strike that keeps going up in price. So I have no idea when I'm gonna be able to purchase it. As well as tons of the Giratina V and all these amazing Charizards as well as 151 that I'm still working on. It will be a journey for sure. And these really cool, more expensive trainer gallery cards, including the Misty Starmie, as well as the Evolution ones. Always expensive with the Evolutions. <laughs> and these really cool tag team cards. And EX cards from the X and Y era. It's really cool seeing the art styles and how they've definitely changed over time and how a lot of them are really unique to that gen of Pokemon. <laughs> and of course, the Radiant Collection cards that I was looking for. They even had these older e-breeder cards and other vintage cards. And over here, we are looking at Ethan's booth, whose channel I will put right here, who had the very cool vending card machine. Good luck, one coin, one pull. Do it right here. I always love these like vending machine or kind of gamba <laughs> machines. They're always fun to do and I always try it at least once when I see one. There was a big deal going on over here where they had the Poncho Pikachus as well as both the Mario and Luigi. So a lot of cool looking cards. Even though the uh, show was pretty small, they had a good variety as well as vendors I hadn't seen before so it's a good time so I'm just gonna do a little haul of everything that I got at the card show okay so first card I actually got was from our friend Jesse um, he actually got two of these so he just gave us this for free but yeah Pretty nice, pretty clean, um, really nice trainer gallery of the past Simeon. We have this Ariados trainer gallery. Very, very nice. So actually the edges on this, I don't know if you can see, the edges on this are a little bit like torn, I guess from like printing error and stuff like that. But I'm going to try to clean this up on my own and yeah, we'll see how that goes. It was only a dollar, so I was like, oh yeah, I'll just grab this one as well. But otherwise the back is pretty clean, it's just the edges. And then next we have this Mew V from Fusion Strike. Very, very pretty. So this was also just a dollar. I got it for my sister. And then I got this Octillery Trainer Gallery. And it's very nice. Very, very pretty hollow background. And this was $2. I got all of these ones for $21 and I got to pull this from the machine as you guys saw in the video. So yeah, shout out to Ethan. I'm going to put his YouTube channel right down here. But yeah, amazing deal. I'm very, very happy with all these cards. It's a very good experience. Amazing dealer. So yes, I'm going to show off these individually. So we have the Galarian Obstacoon Trainer Gallery. This was just the card show of Trainer Gallery cards for me. Because they're just so beautiful. This beautiful Gardevoir. 
this super cute Altaria. Very, very cute. They look like they're ready to enter a Pokemon contest. <laughs> I have this Bronzong. Yeah, I really like the look of this card as well, of the color palette. Very nice. I got this Brakeson. The little matching hat with Serena. This flappy. Alisa. This is really, really cool. So this is actually not a trainer gallery card. It's actually from uh, Cosmic Eclipse, but it has a Flannery with her Torkoal in it. And ugh, I just saw this. I thought this was so, so pretty. So I had to get this one. Just so cool. Dredagon card, which is one of my favorite artworks from the Trainer Gallery cards. Just love it. The sleeping Pokemon are always the best. I got this Pikachu Trainer Gallery. So, so pretty. I got this one for $8. Yeah, looks really nice, really clean. Sometimes I forget which vendors I get it from, so I like it when they give like little cards or something I can remember their names by. Got this Cricketune Galarian Gallery. So nice. It's so scenic. I love the setting. Very, very pretty. The Galarian Gallery cards are really, really nice. Got this one for three dollars, and then got this Blissey V, just so pretty as well. Another trainer gallery card. This one has really nice texture on it. But yes, got four packs of Fusion Strike for my sister because she's been wanting to open cards from this set. Uh, the vendor said it was a very popular set, I think, because people are um, starting to like buy out a lot of the Sword and Shield sets, including Fusion Strike, and it has that cool Ginger VMAX as well as the Espeon. So we got three packs of One Piece, and they're like, oh, you can get one of the Union Arena packs for free, which I thought was so cool of them, but yeah. Just pulled a bunch of like cards from Boku no Hero. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. I don't have any Union Arena cards, but I've seen them. They look pretty nice for any anime fans out there. But yeah, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed the vlog, and we are planning to go to at least one card show in. July, so look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye bye.